Hey everybody, a lot of people ask us a lot, what is IPA and do I need to learn it? For example, Glossica provides an IPA transcription for most of our languages on the platform. Now, IPA stands for the International Phonetic Alphabet. The International Phonetic Alphabet is actually a tool that linguists have used for about a hundred years or more. And so the phonetic alphabet is actually made up of a bunch of symbols. When you first look at it, it can look a little intimidating because there's a lot of symbols. You've probably seen like a schwa, which is an upside down E, also a very long S, like this is pronounced sh. Um, you've seen this in English uh, pronunciation transcriptions, but there's actually a set of symbols that are standardized for all of the world's languages. Now there's a little over a hundred, maybe somewhere around 200 of these symbols once you start uh, combining things together, but do you really need to learn these symbols in order to learn another language? Well, what Glossica does is we provide you with those symbols for each language for the people who are in the know, they know how to read that. So if you are learning a foreign language and uh, you don't necessarily need to learn the IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet, uh, it's not nece necessary because you can uh, practice just by listening and repeating. However, if you really want to focus on getting your pronunciation even uh, sharper and more like a native speaker, then the IPA can really help you a lot. So there's a lot of resources online, especially on YouTube, and we have our own channel. You can also check out other people's channels uh, for learning the IPA symbols. Um, there's a lot of great resources out there. Also, Wikipedia has a really long page explaining um, all of the symbols and then links to every single one individually. And so a lot of these pages will show you the mouth position, the tongue position, and how to pronounce each symbol. So the thing is that human languages, uh, we, we all have the exact same anatomy in the mouth and our tongue moves around in different places. And so what the symbols show you is when I pronounce a T, uh, is that, does it have an extra puff of air? D or T or does it have like um, an ejective sound? T uh, or maybe some of them are actually like um, clicks. Yeah. And so these will actually show you where all of the positions are in your mouth. Now, if the tongue is supposed to go a little bit more forward on the teeth, da, da. If there's voicing in the throat or not, these symbols will actually show you all of that variation. Now, the other great thing about the Glossica transcription is that we show you what is called a phonetic transcription, which is what people are actually doing uh, when they pronounce the sounds out of their mouth. So if you listen to the way I say the word better, uh, you probably can't hear a T in the word, better. I don't say better, uh, I say better. And so when we do our transcription, we'll actually show that that T is a flap sound in there. And so we do that for all of our languages. Where the sound changes to something else, uh, we'll show you that phonetic or that surface realization of that sound. So you can go ahead and check it out. Um, when you're using Glossica, you can actually turn on the IPA transcription and you can read along and just match the sounds as you go. I'm thirsty. J'ai soif. I'm bored. Je m'ennuie. And that way, you can kind of just pick it up as you go, especially for that specific language. For languages like um, Spanish or Croatian, uh, a lot of these languages are actually written very uh, phonetically, so you probably don't even need uh, the help from the IPA. But for some languages that have hard spelling, it might be Polish, uh, it could be uh, you know Chinese or Japanese, Thai, uh, these languages could really give you a lot of help. Uh, the IPA could, could help you out a lot. So check it out in your free time. There's a lot of resources available online. And if you guys have any more questions that you'd like to ask me, go ahead and send them in.